So this is another episode of All Things China. I'm Daniel and today I'm going to show you not really a review but rather a modification of this drone. Uh, this is the Sigma SW-1. Uh, the idea is to modify this drone so that the distance would double. Currently it's only flying about 50 meters which is horrible. The goal is to increase this to 100 meters. So we are not really modifying the drone itself. We are going to modify its controller from this to become da -da -da -da, this. So the idea is to remove this dummy antenna and fix it up with a 2.4 gig uh, gigahertz antenna from a existing router. So what we are doing, we are removing a router antenna, this guy, fix it up into here in order to get this and in doing so hopefully get the distance boost uh, by 100% so let's take a deeper look into how this can be done hi this is the remote controller itself and in order to modify it you're going to open up the remote controller and to do so you're going to flip it to its back and first of all remove the bad battery cover which is this guy and unscrew 8 screws they are located here 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 here, here, this location, and finally here. I've already removed all the screws. Uh, when you want to crank it open, do crank it gently because there's actually two wires uh, connecting to the uh, back cover, as you can see. This wire and this wire. They are connecting to the battery compartment. Uh, so you're going to put it this way, gently at the side. Uh, the next step is to remove um, is to remove this circuit board so you can have access to the antenna soldering uh, to do so you can remove 8 screws as well they are located here, 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 here and here so let me remove them hi there you go I've already removed the 8 screws that's connecting the main board to the front cover so once the screws are removed you just got to flip the main board over mm. When you open it right away, you will see a little wire that's connecting to the little board that it's uh, stick perpendicularly to the main board. Now there's an existing wire this, which is about this length. Uh, you got to cut it off and then replace it with um, this, this little device. This is the antenna base where you got it from the wireless router. When you, when you got it from the wireless router, get the antenna base with the wire. So you're going to remove the existing wire and stick this on. This will allow the antenna to be screwed on to the antenna base later on. So just be careful when you're um, uh, when you're soldering the antenna to this little board here. Just take note: the right is the base and the left is the signal wire. How can you tell which is the signal wire, which is the base? Very simple. The signal wire usually is a more tinier mesh, meshy kind of wire that is wrapped around the signal wire. So you got so whatever wire that's wrapping around the signal wire is the base, which you got to solder to the right. The signal wire itself, which is at the core of the wire, you got to solder it to the left. All right. Once you have screwed back the main board onto the front cover. You need to secure this little antenna base to the top portion of the remote controller. Now, in order for you to do so, you need to uh, cut away the little base plastic of the top cover. Uh, before that, uh, this is what I'm referring to. This little portion of the base cover, you do need to cut it off and file it uh, flat. So it's no longer protruding. This way, then the base antenna will be able to fasten securely onto the remote controller itself. Right, here am I outdoor. Let's test on this new remote and see the distance indeed increased by 100%. Turning the drone on. Turning on my remote. Bounded with the quadcopter. Turn to high speed mode. Let's go! Alright, let's see. This is 40 meter. Oh, there you go. About 50. My battery is weak. 60. I would say, ah, oh, start to lose signal. I must say the distance did increase, but it's not, it's not 100%. I must say.
Ah! Starting to lose signal. Ah, come back, come back. Ah, maybe, maybe it increased to about 70 meter instead of the 50 that I, I used to got. But still, still better. Ah, too bad the battery is weak. Didn't charge my battery. Alright, here I'm going to try using the, another remote from Sigma X5C. I was told the X5C will give this uh, drone new life, making it fly more agile and further as well. So let's try it. Let's give it a try on the drone, on the remote. Let's pair it. Pair it. Turn the speed to high speed as well. There we go. So there we go. 50, 60. 70 and it's still going 80 90 100 meter woohoo we got it so the good thing about using this uh, Sigma X5 C remote it's, it allows the Sigma uh, X5 SW uh, to travel with a longer distance of uh, 100 meter easily with its original remote it's only got me up to 50 uh, the modification will bring it to 75 but it's nowhere near this uh, using the Sigma X5C remote instead. We'll bring the distance up to an amazing 100 meters. Or uh, I would say 120, 120 meters or so. Um, just somehow the X5SW is compatible to X5C, which will uh, bring the system that much further. Apparently, the X5C remote is so much better. So let's have some fun. Do some flipping. Come on, baby, let's go up. Let's try the distance again. This time, let's go high. Ah, I forgot to charge the battery again. Let's go way up, way up, way up, buddy. Up, up, up. So that's easily 100 meters or so. 120 and still going up. Woohoo! So we have so much fun outdoor, isn't it? Always so much great fun to play the quadcopter. So does the modified antenna actually increase the range of the Sigma X5 SW? To answer it, yes it did. When you attach the wireless router antenna to this tank, it boosts its 50 meters range to about 75-80 meters. So indeed, by the modif modifying the remote control, the distance has been boosted. However, the best way to increase the distance is using the Sigma X5C remote. With this little remote, it, the distance is increased up to 100 meters or even 120, easily doubling the original distance. Uh, and the beauty of using this remote is you can still use its uh, phone holder. This way, you still can use the Wi Fi FPV of the Sigma SW by using the and remote that's with the modified antenna. It's impossible to fix this uh, phone holder on it. So, in conclusion, uh, definitely by modifying the antenna. You can increase the distance, but the best way to do it is to invest yourself and get yourself a uh, Sigma X5C remote instead. Uh, okay, until next time, goodbye everybody and hope you like my video and subscribe to my video if you love it. Goodbye!